What's up guys, I just got back from work and I stopped at my fish store on my way home and I picked up some new fish to put in my 20 gallon tank. Now before I show you guys what I got, I'm going to acclimate them by floating them in the tank first. And when I acclimate my fish, I do like to turn off the light. Now I'm going to go take a shower and I'll be right back. It's going to be like 20 minutes I'm going to be floating these guys, but for you, it's going to be seconds. And we're back. It's actually been like an hour later because I had Lugwigia uproot, so I had to put that back down in the soil. And when I was in the tank, I put some root tabs kind of everywhere to hopefully make the plants grow bigger, bigger, better, and better. Let's cut these open and see what's inside. Always check your bag, make sure there's none left in here. Looks like I got all of them. Now this is the part where I wish I had a the camera person, we're just going to put them in the tank and very gently just kind of let them swim out by themselves. They already went through enough stress, you don't want to stress them out more. Looks like one's kind of weak. But there we go. They're all out of the net. None in my bucket, none in my bag. I think I got them all in the tank. Let me put the lid on, put the light back, and I'm gonna show you what I got. So we actually just added five cardinal tetras. I had four in here, but they didn't school very well. And usually they like to school in high numbers. So I got five more, so I'll make nine in this tank. As you see, those two are my old ones. There should be two more big ones in there. And the new ones I just got, these small little guys here. There's five of them swimming around. And then they'll all find each other and school very nicely in here. This is my community tank. We have cardinal tetras. And we have cherry shrimp. And there's actually a pea puffer back here somewhere. He loves to hide in the Vallisnerius. I can never find him. Um, but... If you uh, know anything about fish, pea puffers are supposed to be slightly aggressive, so they say not to put them in with cherry shrimp. But I had them in a single tank over here in this 5-gallon or 10-gallon tank, my guppy tank over here. Why is the camera not focusing? But I had them in there for a bit, and then I decided I really wanted to put them in my 20-gallon tank. So what I did is grabbed a handful of cherry shrimp that were not the best quality, and I... Uh, Threw them in there with him and he did not touch them. So then I threw him in here. And I really haven't seen him ever since. When I do water changes, he'll come out. But he's usually just hiding in the back over here in the Valisnerius. Um, they're supposed to be very personal, but uh, he's not. He likes to hide. But as you see, my Lugugia, it's a mess. I just try to throw it back in the soil. But I've been having a lot of trouble with that, keeping it down in the soil. Um... But hopefully it stays that time. And we also have a uh, albino, albino bristlenose pleco. And of course my camera's not focusing again. In the plants we have Valisnerius, Liguigia, Monte Carlo, uh, Nubius, and Cryptocanthus. And uh, a little bit of moss. Not too much, just a little bit. I don't know why it's growing so slow in this tank. We have CO2 injection in this tank. It's going off like crazy. But our CO2 radar, or whatever you want to call it, it's at green, so that's good. But we also got another thing at the fish store. As you see, they're all schooling nicely now. You can see, like, the old ones compared to the new ones. Um, some of them don't look very good. Like, that one looks like it has a sunken belly, so I might try to feed them right away. And them being so small, I usually feed uh, brine shrimp, but I can't do that. So I'm going to have to feed some pellets right here or some fish flake over there. I have stuff everywhere in this house. I need to organize. But anyways, we got some uh, frog bit floating grass or floating glass, grass, floating plant. I love floating plants, but the only ones I could find at my fish store all the time was duckweed and I absolutely hate duckweed. It's a mess. So if uh, if you're watching this video and you're looking to get uh, floaters, 
do not get duckweed. It is very cheap and it uh, multiplies like crazy, but it is truly a mess to keep care of. But the duckweed or the frog bit will be going in my 20, uh, 10 gallon guppy, oh, excuse me, my 10 gallon guppy tank, and I might throw a couple into here. Um, if you follow this channel, you know I got blue dream shrimp, but an update will come out on them soon. And it's not a very good update. So uh, if you're seeing this video, please hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss the update on those guys. An update on these guys. Um, it does look like some of them are not going to make it. They don't look very well. But yeah, that's really it. We got some Cardinal Tetris and some Frog Bit. And we also got Root Tabs and some more uh, shrimp food for my shrimp. I do like, I do really like this stuff. So sometimes I'll throw it in my 20 gallon tank, but usually that is really just for uh, these guys here. As you see, I have already a package open, um, but it's running low. So I got another one that we like to feed this tank. This is my cherry shrimp tank, Google spec. And I, I don't know if I did one. I don't think it's on this channel. I might have deleted it. But I did do a review on the Google spec tanks. And uh, if you want me to do that again, leave a comment down below. I actually hate them so uh if you want to know why i hate them leave a comment down below and i'll do a video all on them but that's really it for this video guys please hit the like and subscribe button down below and if you follow this channel you know i'm building a chicken coop and she's almost done so we'll be getting chicken soon so if you want to see that journey and do that journey with me hit the subscribe button down below and comment down below that you're into chickens and i'll do some videos on that i don't think i have done a video on it yet I just keep on showing you guys it and uh, kind of just through the window there. But I said it already. That's it for the video. Actually, I'll, I'll throw these in. I'll throw the frog bit into the tank. I want you guys to see what it looks like because it's kind of hard to see in the bag. And uh, yeah, we're almost at, uh, or we're at, we're at, oh. We're at like 655 subscribers. So thank you very much to all my subscribers. And please hit the subscribe button down below. Let's try to get to a thousand by the end of the year. And that would be amazing because my girlfriend says she'll be part of my YouTube videos if she does. So that means I'll have a camera person and somebody to pull pranks on. So that would be cool. Change up the change up the content kind of bit because I do fish a lot. Um, I do like filming fish. I feel like I learn a lot from YouTube. And if I put it out on YouTube, even people will correct things I do. And yeah, I'm just rambling now, but I'll put you in my stand here that is 100 years old. And we'll put the frog bit in. And if you guys like the kind of content I do, um, it's really like mostly fish, but I, uh, if you look on this channel, I have like video, uh, jewelry reviews, some merch reviews. I kind of do everything. Um, I live on my own and I try to like keep my cost down as much as possible. So I have, I do do like, do do. Like I have a garden, um, a veggie garden. So if you want to see anything about that, I've been doing that pretty like my, pretty much my whole life. My mom does it and I kind of uh, was always there with her helping her out. So I know quite a bit about uh, gardening. I do it every year myself since I moved on my own. And uh, as I already talked about, um, I do have a, or I'm working on a chicken coop. Hopefully she'll be done soon, but yeah. And then there's last, I'll show you guys up close, close of these guys. So, uh, yeah, they're pretty nice. They're, they have like flat, soft leaves. They have really long roots. So the guppies will love it. And, um, I'm getting more guppies tomorrow. Um, so if you want to see them, leave a like and comment down below it looks like on this one here i don't know if you can see but right kind of right there it looks like it's already shooting off a runner 
So that will like uh, start its own one and break off eventually and uh, start its own uh, floater plant, own uh, frog bit. But I always hear videos on this plant and I can never find it. So I'm happy that I found it today and I'm happy I got picked it up. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna move these guys all the way to the front so it's uh, just not dangling over the wood there. Even though that's probably a good place to like hide the anubius because the anubius grows lots of uh, algae on it because it's such a slow grower. And I should really put root tabs in this carpet here. Um, it's been in there probably for like a week or more, and it really hasn't done anything. But we're going to go to my other tank and throw this frog bit in. And sorry for like the scattered videos, guys. Like I, uh, one, I said I don't have a filmer. And two, I have ADD. So I just like to talk. So we're going to throw that in there. And boom. So this would be like the third type of uh, floating plant I've ever had. I already talked about it. I need to fill up this tank really bad. But I already talked about it. Um, duckweed. Do not like it. And there's actually, if you see those long ones there, uh, that's, uh, what is it called? Lettuce? Uh, water lettuce? I actually really like the look of the water lettuce and the roots of it. But the only problem is, it is very delicate. If you get any water on the leaves, it will just die. So it's, for me, it's been quite hard to grow. There was one time I got it growing so really well, and then every time I did a water change, it would like slowly die and slowly die because it would get wet. But anyways, I'm just now I'm just rambling like crazy. But that's it for the video. We got some Cardinal Tetras. We'll show you guys those before I leave again. Got some cardinal tetras in there. I don't know if you can see this. Oh, I need a better, uh, one, I need a better camera, and two, I need a better stand. So if you guys want to help me out and do that, um, hit the subscribe button down below. And I, uh, I'll actually invest some money into this YouTube stuff. But I like, uh, making videos, because, uh, yeah. I know no, none of you probably reached it to the end of this video, but that's okay. Um, again, guys, I am buying, I'm getting more guppies tomorrow. Uh, all these are males. I thought I had some females in there, but I do not. So I'll be getting some female guppies tomorrow. Oh, well, yeah, I'm getting two pairs tomorrow. So they'll be, they'll, hopefully I'll get them breeding. I do need to buy a... I went to the store Pacific, Pacifically, specifically, Pacifically, I can never say that word, to get a long plant for the back here so they can hide in there when they have fry. But I couldn't find anything I liked. There was a bunch like a tall Anubius, but I'm not a fan of Anubius. It is quite easy to grow, but it's like a really slow grower. So constantly has allergy for me at least. Like if you look at these ones here, the green allergy on them is just outrageous and I can never figure out how to get that away so that's why I keep my light at the very back now to try to hide hide the light from the Anubius so it doesn't grow algae but um that's it for the video guys I'm gonna feed these guys hopefully they eat for me um and yeah I know nobody's probably made it to the end of the video but like comment share do all that good stuff um well, this channel, we do chicken coops, jewelry reviews, merch reviews, uh, stuff about dogs. That's my, my big man, Toro, right there. He's a cane corso or county corso, however you want to pronounce it. Obviously, we do fish. We just talked about today. Uh, chicken coop. We do everything. Um, I don't mind filming really anything I do, but at the same time, I do not consider myself a content creator. So I do not film, film everything I do. But if you want to see everything I do... Get me 2,000 subscribers and then I'll film everything for you guys. Like I built this beautiful stand here. I keep on saying I'm going to do a video on it, but I never do. But yeah, I built that and built him a raised bed for my room because he never, he always sleeps in my bed. So yeah, I built that over there, a hydroponic system, but it did not turn out perfectly. So I got to redo it. So if you want to see that too, leave a comment down below. 
And now I'm just uh, rambling and rambling. And I like to keep the video short, but this one is uh, 15 minutes already. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to end it. Bye, guys. See you in the next one.